I love zombies. It's a genre of media that's always been a fascination of mine, starting from Telltale's Walking Dead. We can agree, however, that when it comes to games, we have a lot to choose from. Some are filled with great narratives, or just awesome gameplay. Others are... games, I suppose. But one that has stood out to me recently is Project Zomboid. This low-poly, realistic survival simulator, the goal here is simply to survive. There's no outlying objective or main narrative to follow. Typically these games with this kind of design philosophy bore me pretty easily, but Zomboid just felt different. It's lonely, it's honestly depressing at times. This melancholic experience that no other game gives you, it's just unique. To kind of give you a feel for what I'm talking about, I want to share this very brief story of my first character that I ran for this video. So I ran it on Apocalypse, hoping for the most challenging of the base setting. As you can see here, it has a higher focus on stealth and, you know, less on combat. I chose Moldraw as my spawn, it's like the rule kind of area. I chose Burglar, which gave me an increase to all the sneak stats, then my flaw traits were Disorganized, All Thumbs, Smoker, and Cowardly. Then my good traits were Fast Reader and Inconspicuous. I hit random on character until I found something I liked. I went with this guy Brady Gibbons. Kind of had the vibe I was going for. Uh, the shoes, rather questionable. What the hell? Oh my god. So when you start the game, you get this awesome intro that I'm just going to play for you here. This intro does a great job of kind of setting you into motion here. I start in a trailer home, I chow down, gather some supplies, wielding only a frying pan, I begin to search for a home. My first combat goes really bad. My frying pan breaks instantly and I quickly am overwhelmed. I lose them for a brief moment and kill a straggler that followed me. As I'm alone, I find out that I have three wounds. I wash them and thankfully there's no bites, otherwise game over. I rip off some clothes, wash them off, to make bandages. Right off the bat, this near-fatal encounter really sobers me up to what I should be expecting. This game always keeps you on your toes. All it takes is one misstep, and you could get bit, and that's game over. So after I patch up, I find a motel that could probably prove as my home base. I spend a long time clearing it out, and I find some car keys along with the car outside. However, I figured it was best to wait, because cars are really noisy. And if I didn't have a plan of what I was going to do with the car, it's best just to not use it yet. I spent some time reading before calling it a night, chalking off my first day. When I woke up, the wounds were healed, and it was time to get out there and see what else I could find. With my newly acquired metal pipe, I find this more rural kind of home. However, when I open the window, the house alarm kicks in. Panic sets in as a ton of zombies begin to close in. I find myself running through woods, and I get disoriented and I'm back in the trailer park. I decide I'll do some more looting in the homes for the meantime, since I imagine where I came from is filled with zombies. My lack of caution, along with some heavy fog, leads me to run into another horde. I run away, find some silence for a moment, read a magazine. At this point in the run, I'm anxious as all hell. Short moments of comfort are broken up by very sudden hordes. It's intense and exhilarating, to say the least. In my search for some scraps of wood, I run into yet another group of zombies. However, it's totally my fault as I try to fight them, realizing way too late that there's too many of them. Again, I find myself running. I run down a road, then down some railroad tracks until I cut back through some woods and find myself back in a neighborhood. I run into a few more zombies, thinking I can fight them, but I don't notice that I am exhausted. A royal fuck up on my part here, and it proves fatal, because after I'm bitten, it's all over. So here I am, bitten, bleeding to death, it's over for me. But I wanted to go out on my own turn, so I run, try to find a building where I can hold up and at least die in peace. I find myself aimlessly running to find a safe place, until inevitably I decide to stay in one house, exhausted and tired, running away. That's where my first run ends.
Even with that abysmal first run, I had so much fun with this game. So much that I ran another one and it went much better. This game has such a feeling of loneliness, an all-encompassing vibe of just despair. Going from home to home and picking what's left, sticking to the alleys and edges of towns in fear of attracting the hordes of people long dead. As I grew stronger and more adept, I lost touch with reality. My character was depressed, only finding comfort in the books left behind by others. There was this random item I found, a picture of Kate. It had no meaning or purpose, it was just set dressing. But it really hit home the emotion Zomboid is trying to evoke out of you. I had a home base, I had food and water, I was safe, I was comfortable. I felt accomplished, I was going to be okay. But all it takes is one bad day and you return home to have it all fall away. Many zombie games take the survival aspect as purely resource management. Games like State of Decay and Seven Days to Die are great, but they're more about growing stronger and fighting off the hordes. Where Zomboid differs is that you can have all the tools at your disposal, but you're never really safe. There is no ending, there is no finish line. When the chips are down and you've played all of your cards, all that's left is you. Project Zomboid is an experience, a simulation of desperation, peril, and most importantly, loneliness.